general usage. The GS6000 has both USB and Ethernet connectivity. Located at the back of the GS6000 is both a USB and Ethernet port. The USB port supports 2.0 connectivity. The Ethernet port supports Gigabit Ethernet capability. Located on the bottom of the GS6000 are two 120 volt power plugs. One is for the heaters and one is for the machine itself. There is a third power plug required for the take-up reel motor. Now we will show you how to load and change an ink cartridges in the GS6000. To open the ink bay door, simply depress on the door and it will open. Simply pull on the cartridge and it will slide out. To replace the cartridge, simply push the cartridge in and then push the door to close. The GS6000 has a maintenance tank and I will show you now how to drain the maintenance tank. Simply by utilizing the supplied bucket, simply open the spigot on the waste ink bottle and allow the ink to drain into the bucket. Simply by closing the valve, this will shut off the ink flow into the bucket. Replace the lid to the excess ink bottle. Wipe clean the spigot so no excess ink drips onto the floor. Now we will show you how to cut the media on the GS6000. Simply lift up the front cover, place your blade into the channel, and run the blade through the channel. Here is a close-up view of where the blade is to be placed into the channel and gently slide the blade through the channel to cut the media properly. Be sure to hold the media with one hand once you finish the cut and then simply remove the print that you've just finished.